This is Silver Oak 2005 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This is the latest release from Silver Oak. And as you see, I've got it in the decanter here breathing. Um, Silver Oak always ages their wines for an extended period, which allows the wines to come together to mature flavors to really start to come out and the tannins to soften. And even with that extra aging, the wine is still usually really big, really bold, really structured. And obviously breathing always helps open up a wine like this. Now, 05 was really very successful vintage in Napa Valley. You had a really good, long, slow-growing season. Good balance of, uh, you know, the right kind of weathered sun and uh, yet not too hot for over-ripeness. So you got a lot of good quantity as well as good quality and good maturation in the fruit. This is a blend of uh, 70% Cabernet Sauvignon, 20% Merlot, 7% Cabernet Franc, and 3% Petit Verdot. Now they then make the blend after they ferment all of those grape blots separately. And they put the wine in 100% new American oak. So it gets a real serious oak treatment. It stays in the oak barrels for about 25 months, so a little over two years before they bottle it and then age it for another 20 months. <laughs> That's all that, uh, that maturation I was talking about. But um, that's how you make good wine. Good wine that's um, really something you can drink right out of the bottle. Uh, the nose has a wonderful, wonderful um, black currant note. A little bit of black olive. A little bit of... Um, Sort of a uh, gamey note on there, meaty, um, hints of tobacco, getting some chocolate. <laughs> Let's taste. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> even though it's a big, full-bodied cab, it has an elegance to it. There's sort of a, um, <clears throat> a streamlined quality to it, something sort of pulling it all in. Um, all those wonderful flavors, I'm getting all that um, cassis, that dark chocolate, those um, meaty notes, some like uh, soy notes. Um, little uh, sort of toasty vanilla notes also, all in there, all sort of surrounding your, your tongue, your mouth, your palate. And then there's those, you know, there are tannins in there. They're sort of grippy, but they're, they sort of, they lay back a little bit. And you get this whole sense of sort of a, a, a silkiness to the wine. Really nicely done. Um, I don't know, for me, this is one of, their, one of their best that they've done in quite a while. I think it's probably something that's very ageable as well, um, even though, you know, the aeration brings out the flavors, lets you, lets you enjoy it now. Um, get some for now, put some in your cellar, let it age 5, 10, 15 years, if you dare. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs>